This is a half acre lot, about seven miles out of town. We moved here in 1981 so my wife could have a horse. Our main house is up front, but I want to show you this brick building and why it's so special to me. It really shouldn't even be standing. Take a look at it. We call it the brick building because look, there's no mortar between the brick. They're just stacked one on top of another. We don't know much about its history, but let me show you around and why it's so special to me. I really don't know how it's still standing. Look at these cracks. And even though it's got a 10 inch concrete foundation, it's got some serious cracks in the floor. Whoever built it, or should I say, put it together, had every intention of living here. This is the front. There's a door here. This is 24 feet. And this is 20 feet wide. They added a section back here that is nine foot by five foot. Right here is what would be considered the bedroom. This is 10 by 12. This presumably is the living area. Altogether, it's just about 500 square feet. There was no plumbing in it at all. The electrical was interesting. They had what was called knob and tubing insulators. These were all built around the rafters and this is what the wires were hooked up to. From what I learned, these types of electrical connectors were used up until about 1930. And these original rafters actually measured two inches by four inches, not the one and a half by three and a half inch stuff you get at Home Depot these days. The property doesn't have a garage, so we use a lot of the space in here for our storage. I retired nine years ago, and this building has a lot of my life in it. For 13 years, I was partners with my father in the oil field machine shop. When I joined the company, he gave me his toolbox. It has all the companies that he worked for, and these are the tools that he used for years. This is the room that means a lot to me. There was something about working at the machine shop. No matter how the day went, at the end of the day, you could look over at the parts bins, and you could see tangible evidence of the things that you had accomplished that day. Yeah, sure, retirement's great. You get to do whatever you want. For me, these days, it's riding my horse, playing with my dogs, gardening. But I also took a little part of this brick building and I built myself a wood shop. Hey, it's nothing fancy. I got a chop saw, table saw, planer, and a router. And I put together simple things. Things that don't take a lot of technical expertise. Boxes, simple shelves. I built a saddle stand. But there's something really satisfying about putting something together with your own hand. It gives me something to look at at the end of the day and say, that's tangible. That's something that you did today. And that's one of the things that I miss so much in retirement, that sense that I did something that day. In these days of isolation and COVID, this was really a good place for me to be. I don't know who put this building together. I try to picture whether it was one guy just stacking bricks on top of another or a family of people where the kids were handing the bricks to the parents or a team of guys putting it together. I don't know if they ever got to live in this house. I wonder what they'd think about it if they knew it was still standing. Since 1950, there have been five earthquakes in California that had a magnitude 7.0 or greater. Yet this building, put together with bricks stacked one on top of another is still standing. Every year it gets a little bit older, falls apart a little bit more. You know, this brick building and I, we have a lot in common. I don't know who built it, but I'm sure glad they did.